Okay, so this is part two of a nine hole vlog that I did earlier in the year. Uh, this is a swing flip, making it look like I'm right handed. Keep in mind, I'm actually left handed and I'm actually swinging in this video left handed. So when I say right, every time I say the ball went to the right or it hooked to the right, it actually um, is hooking to the right but it appears in this video like it's hooking left because I flipped, I mirrored the swing to make it look like I'm right-handed. Um, I haven't done any videos in the simulator, as you can see from behind. If you've watched any of my previous videos, I had to change some stuff up. I've been waiting for this net to come in for a long time. The uh, contraption that I was using, the oval thing, the ball was going right through it and hitting my garage door. It wasn't ideal and uh, it took me a while to get this in. So it's finally in. I'm still working on getting it uh, hung correctly. So you should see some, uh, some vlogs on the simulator soon. Enjoy the video. The link for part one will be in the description if you missed it. Please subscribe to the channel, like, share, and comment. And please hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. So I'm two over now through five. I'm gonna break 40 here. I'm gonna start pouring and burning some holes. I mean, come on, this is, this is crazy. This is all about short game. Um, I'm not getting up and down right now. This next hole, this next hole is a par four. Pretty straightforward par four. I'm gonna hit driver. Okay, I hit it kind of solid, but it, it hooked to the right over the over the right trees. I'm in the fairway next to it, but I've been there before. Um, that's actually the bailout. It's I'm gonna have an open shot into the green from there. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I, I got a wide open shot here. Um, there's the green, there's the pin. I got no obstructions, but here's where having my golf watch with my GPS really kind of kind of helps me because there's no markers on the other, you know, the other hole to tell me how far I am. Now I can kind of figure it out a little bit. There's the hundred yard marker. I'm about even with that, maybe a little bit more. I'm going to guess that I probably have about 110 yards to the hole here. I am going to hit a gap wedge. Okay, I hit too much grass behind the ball there and I didn't make solid contact with the ball and I came up short. It was a good strike. I mean, it was right where I was aiming, but the wet conditions aren't aren't really helping me. Okay, so again, I need to, I need to use my short game here and I need to get up and down. Um, I got more green to work with on this one though. So I don't have to hit that high spinner. I can kind of land one on the green and run it up to that back pin location. Probably going to hit a uh, 56 degree wedge. Yeah, that That's a good shot. That's a really good shot. That might even be a tap in. Um, it looks like a tap in from here. Let's go up and check it out. Okay, so like I thought, that is definitely a, a tap in. Um, I don't even have to put the camera down here. I could probably just one hand it. That's a par, that's a good par save. It's about time. Kind of straight away, there's not much trouble. There's trouble left, but it's pretty far left. This is one that I should be able to take a good swing at it. Try to get it down there really good. Okay, I'm fighting the rights with my driver today, but you know what? It's fine. Um, it's open over there. I don't have a problem. And I hit it far enough where I'm gonna have a short iron into the green for sure. So let's go find it, hit the next shot. So again, I don't have my GPS watch, this is killing me, but there's a 150, there's a 100 marker, and here's my ball. I'm probably about, I don't know, 125, 130 yards from the pin. Uh, it's a white flag, so the pin's in the middle. 
gonna hit a nine iron. Okay, that, that's a good shot but again I had some grass behind the ball and I think I might be on like the front fringe uh, I probably should have clubbed up one probably should have hit an eight iron because I didn't account for that wet grass being in front of the ball it was a good shot though it was right at the pin so I'm not gonna complain too much okay so here it is I'm here in two I'm just short you can see the uh pitch mark here the where it landed um i could putt this i'm probably gonna putt this because i think nine times out of ten putting it i'll get closer okay so this is another gimme here. Um, I don't even have to, I don't even have to put the camera down to really make this one. Okay, so that's a par. That was a two footer. I just kind of tapped it in one handed. On to the next hole. I believe the next hole is a par three. Okay, this is a par three and it says it's 180 from the whites, but you never know where they put the tee boxes compared to where that measurement normally is. I don't see any markers on the tee box at all as to, you know, a reference to pace off from. And I don't have my GPS watch. And I'm filming on my phone, so I can't go on to one of those apps and figure it out. So I'm walking around, I'm looking to see if there's any kind of markers, but there's not. <laughs> it's a little frustrating. So I think I'm gonna play this, I think I'm gonna play this as 180 like i'm gonna hit an easy four hybrid so i'm pretty confident with that okay that that's a pretty acceptable shot it was a solid strike i pulled it to the right just a bit i'm gonna have a chip probably onto the green but this whole you know, I'm, I'm playing my league here, and every time I play, this hole is kind of my nemesis. I, I'm never on the green in this hole for some reason. I don't know why. I, I don't see it well. It, it, it doesn't suit my eye. I always seem to have a problem. I'm, I'm usually near that left tree left of the green, but at least I'm to the right here, and I have an open little chip to get up and down. Let's go find it. Okay, now this is an interesting shot. Um, I got a chip onto the green here. I got to be quiet because there's other golfers on the next hole. Um, there's a big swale. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but that is a big hill to the right that goes down to the left. I have a lot of green to work with. I could run one up, but then I got to read it like a putt. Or I could kind of just try to fly it close to it and stop it. Uh, I'm probably going to do that because I've been working on that. I want to hit it past this swell, hit a high little spinner in there with a with a lob wedge, 60 so degree. I'm going to put this ball middle in my stance. I'm going to open the club face. I'm going to use the bounce on the club so I don't dig into the ground. I'm going to let it slide under the ball and pop this ball right up in the air. made good contact, did what I wanted to do. Um, this is a new shot for me. I gotta learn it a little better. I did hit it too far, unfortunately. It landed just past the hole, to the right of the hole. And now, <laughs> I'm on the fringe, I'm not even on the green. Probably wasn't the safe shot in retrospect. I probably should have ran one up there and tried to read the green and, hey, live and learn, right? Live and learn, here we go.
That's a bogey. That's a four on the par three. Mistake. Mistake with my wedge. But I'm going to learn from it. I'm going to learn from that mistake and I'm going to get better for next time. I think it's funny that, like in a stat book, that would go down as a one putt. I don't agree with the way that's done. I think, I believe that any time you use your putter, it should be a putt. Like on the fringe, like I just was. I mean, that was a putt. But they don't count it as a putt in the stats because I wasn't on the green. You know, that's counted as like, I guess, a chip. That is actually a one putt, which is, which is crazy to me. So going to the ninth hole here, I am three over par. I, I really feel like I'm, I really feel like I'm kind of close. I'm close to getting to that single digit handicap like range, like, you know, breaking 80 all the time. I mean, if I par this hole, I shot a 39, which is, it's pretty good. That's that that would be breaking 80 if I if I played 18 and I and I shot just as well on on the back. I mean, I know that's you know that's just the way I think about it. It's not yeah. Okay, last hole. I'm three over right now. The last hole is a par four. It kind of goes off to the left. I'm gonna try to hit it to about 100 yards in so that I can have a little wedge in there. Okay, that was an absolutely perfect drive. I did hit it off the heel a little bit, but it went exactly where I was aiming. I was aiming just left edge of the fairway, and it is in the left rough, probably just off the fairway. Okay, so it didn't go as far as I wanted to, but I, like I said, I'm just off the fairway here in the left rough, but the rough isn't very penalizing. There's a hundred marker. Uh, I'm gonna pace this off here. Okay, I'm about, I'm about 110. I'm about 110. Now, normally that's like a gap wedge for me, but I've been making this mistake all day. Look at this. I got grass behind the ball. Um, unless I hit that ball perfectly, perfectly with that gap wedge, um, I'm gonna club up here. I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge and I'm just gonna try to get it on the green, have a birdie putt. Okay, I got over that hill. I heard a thump, so I believe it landed on the green, and I think I got a birdie putt here. Let's go check it out. All right, so I am on the green. I'm not as close as I would have liked to have been. However, I do have a birdie putt. It's a tricky left to right breaker. Let's try to make this. Okay, so that's very, very disappointing. Um, I ended up shooting a 40. I got a bogey on that hole. I can't believe that I missed that short putt. That is the second really short putt I missed of this round. If I'm gonna get to single digits, I have to make those putts. They have to become routine. I have to practice these putts over and over and over again. Uh, that's pretty horrible. I mean, it was only two and a half, three feet. I mean, yeah, there was a little, it's tricky. It wasn't straight. It looks like it's left to right but it really isn't i'm frustrated frustrated 40 i could have shot in the 30s today but uh hey i'll get him next time i'll keep practicing thanks for watching thanks for tuning into the channel i appreciate it if you got any questions or recommendations for me or anything leave a comment below let me know hey you're doing this wrong whatever whatever you want to say whatever whatever feedback i can get from anybody is helpful um, I'm all about trying new things and trying to improve. I'll see you next time. Please subscribe to the channel, like, share, and comment. And please hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything.